but I decided to come out here and run the ripper through this field again. And because the field is, has a little dampness to it, and because the field is a little bit wet, uh, some of the roots that would not come up before are pulling out. Many of you know that I've been working on this field for a while now. I've just I've had a couple, several videos on, on ripping roots out of the field that I've been working on, trying to clean it up, trying to get rid of the mesquite roots. So we got some rain the other day. It wasn't a huge amount, but I had been through this field several times. I'm in it right now. And um, I decided, you know what? Because we got a little bit of rain, got a little moisture, I've drug these shanks through here several times. I'm curious about something. Uh, it is a little, it's not wet and it's not muddy, but it is a little bit damp. And so I decided to run the subsoiler or ripper back through it again, just to see what would happen. I'm actually getting ready to take this thing off. I'm getting ready to put the mold board on here and I'm gonna turn this field, I'm gonna turn this over uh, so that I can see if I can pull up any more root. The moisture, by subsoiling this thing, the moisture has really gotten down a lot deeper than you know I kind of expected it. And it's been really, really, really nice to see that. I'm not used to that. You know, we I, I told you before I don't I've never really subsoiled, and you know, we watched the video where I subsoiled that field, uh, and I think it helped it. But I decided to come out here and run the ripper through this field again. And because the field is, has a little dampness to it, and because the field is a little bit wet, uh, some of the roots that would not come up before are pulling out. So I thought I'd take a moment to show you this. Those are roots that have accumulated around my shanks. So I'm out here working on this field again. So this is getting to be a little bit of a pain. All of these roots building up. And but that's a good thing because it's pulling all those roots out of the out of the ground. Now, they're actually not ripping this time they're actually pulling out of the out of the, the ground and that's pretty pretty neat so I, I decided that I'm just gonna run through this this field right now just looks like I plowed it I mean it literally there's hard there's no grass in it there's nothing in it and it looks like I've already run a pole board through it but I haven't I've only run the the, the three shank ripper through it several times and uh, as long as I'm pulling roots out of it I'm gonna continue to do that so it's been a few months since we ripped this ground with the ripper. We ripped a lot of roots out of the ground and it's made a big difference in this field. Now, if you go back and you don't, maybe, maybe some of you are new to the channel, 
don't know exactly what we're talking about, go back and take a look at some of the old videos that we have produced back a few months ago that showed where we started dropping the ripper into the ground and how we started cleaning this field up. Now remember, if you're not familiar with mesquite trees, or uh, you might do a little bit of research on them, they are super, super invasive and they're horrible. They're horrible to get rid of. When we first started doing this, we did not drop that ripper very deep in the ground. We just couldn't, there's no way. That tractor would have come to a stop and I'd have got nowhere. So we just started dropping a little bit at a time in the ground. I have been across this field several times, many times. Ripped a lot of roots up, broke a lot of roots up, and then we started pulling roots out of the ground. And that made a huge difference. So we started at first dropping a ripper in the ground over here. Probably about 12 inches is all we did. And we didn't go very deep. And we used two shanks. Later on, we put three shanks on, started going deeper and deeper. And we ripped a lot of roots out of this ground. We made a big difference. So we got mesquite coming back right there. But for the most part, a lot of this is fairly clean. Do I have mesquites coming back? Yes, I do. There's a few right there. But keep in mind, this stuff was inches apart, not feet apart. And I could not do what I'm doing right now, I'll just walk through here, uh, here in the near future. So we're gonna go ahead and drop a uh, mow board in this. And we're, gonna, and we're gonna sit there and we're gonna turn this land over. We're gonna see if we can turn some of those roots up. So we have some, some weeds in here and we have a little bit of mesquite still coming back. We're gonna see if we can kind of get some control on that. And that'll be a video that comes up fairly soon, but that won't be till later on. So until next time, thanks.